Good morning. It's Saturday, July 11th, and this morning I'm taking my devotion from Living the Message of Eugene Peterson. Um, a little early, I've got some errands to run at 7 o'clock, so I won't be able to be at 7. Anyway, this morning is called the Prophecy of the Revelation. A common way to misunderstand prophecy, and especially the prophecy of the Revelation, is to suppose that it means prediction. But that is not the biblical use of the word. Prophets are not fortune tellers. The prophet is the person who declares, Thus says the Lord. He speaks what God is speaking. He brings God's word into the immediate world of the present, insisting that it be heard here and now. The prophet says that God is speaking now, not yesterday. God is speaking now, not tomorrow. It is not a past word that can be analyzed and walked away from. It is not a future word that can be fantasized into escapist diversion. It is, a per, it is personal address now, for the time is near. Revelation 1, 3 and 22, 10. Near means at hand, not far off in the future, but immediately before us. Only our unbelief or ignorance or timid hesitancy separate us from it. <clears throat> Jesus also announced the immediacy of the prof prophetic word when he preached the kingdom of God is at hand. Like in Mark 1.15, St. John's near and Jesus' at hand are the same root word. The prophetic word eliminates the distance between God's speaking and our hearing. If we make the pro prophetic word a predictive word, we're procrastinating, putting distance between ourselves and the application of the word putting off dealing with it until some future date. And Mark 1, 15. Time's up. God's kingdom is here. Change your life and believe the message. And I think uh, in this times of the COVID virus, I suspect that people look at Revelation and think that God is pouring out God's wrath, just like predicted in the, in the book of Revelation. Revelation is complex and complicated. Uh, we don't have the keys for understanding it. Um, it is written like a lot of things that uh, this is what God is like, but it's not saying this is what's going to happen. I can't believe that God's going to blow up the world and cause all kinds of suffering. It's just not the way Jesus did things. Um, if we really believe that Jesus is a real, true revelation of God, is the most... Uh, is the most... I don't want to say it, um, complete revelation of God, then I can't see um, God or Jesus causing all kinds of pain and suffering because of something we did wrong. Jesus tried to heal everyone. Jesus died to heal everyone. Um, yeah, I, I just have a hard time saying that COVID virus is, is a plague from God and has come here to show us a thing or two. And God's kind of sticking the needle in us as a voodoo doll, you know, as, a, as, as we would be voodoo dolls. It's just not how I see Jesus and not how I see God. I see Jesus as being um, a suffering servant, suffering alongside of us. He could have done a lot of things a lot differently, but he didn't. He suffered and died for us um, to help us, not to give us more pain, not to purposely make us suffer. So when we talk about prophecy, yeah, thus says the Lord now. Prophets are the ones who look at society and say, thus says the Lord now, this is not right. Black lives do matter. Quit being oppressive. Quit your ways. They're not right. God is, is active in the world. I guess my message is a little bit um, scattered this morning, but it, it just makes me think of all these things that, that are being said and, and uh, done um, to try, of course, to... to explain what's going on and then try to put some sense into it and and sometimes there's just no sense to it at all it's just a matter of for us to trust that god has our best interests in mind and that god does take care of us let us pray 
Gracious and loving God, help us to see your ways in the world, that you are with us, that you suffer with us, that you uh, help us, guide us uh, on our way. Um, open our hearts to your ways always. Help those who are suffering uh, and those who are really uh, in need of your care. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, until tomorrow, have a blessed day.